First of all, uh, can I ask you, what knowledge do you have of this building? Well, a certain amount, not, not as much as goes back from the architecture of the building, which um, there is strong evidence of the 17th century features within it. But from a documentary point of view, we've got evidence of a building on this site at least, I would say, 1773. There's an early large-scale map of the Wiltshire, the county of Wiltshire, and there shows, there's shown a block of buildings on this site. It's shown on the 1808 enclosure award in more detail, and then in the 1842 tithe map. At that time, the owners and occupiers were John and Henry Withers, a victualler and a maltster. And from the 1820s, we know that they were running a pub called the Oak. So we've got evidence of the Oak being the building being a pub called the Oak from the 1820s, and going right on through into the mid 20th century, or well, late 20th century, in fact. Okay, Steve, I'm going to ask you a pertinent question now. What sort of beer would they have served? <laughs> well. The interesting, thing, that's the, the, the interesting thing about that question is that the beer that they would have served in the 19th century was the beer that they brewed on site. Because as well as the pub, there's the, there's the, the malt house buildings behind. <laughs> so we've got a glove factory, we've got a brewery, um, do, now, I've been told that there's, there are bits and pieces of this building, there's evidence that it goes back to Tudor times. What would it have been in Tudor times? Would it have been a coaching inn or what would it have been? Well, we've no evidence that it was a pub before the early 19th century. I mean, it could quite easily have been um, a house, you know, not, not, not a public house, but we don't know that. But on the other hand, um, Buildings which pubs, typically pubs do have quite a long established history. Once you have, it's not a case of once a pub, always a pub. Can I just say one other thing though? Um, the realisation of the importance or significance of this building has come rather late in the sort of the, 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 the planning programme, so to speak, for this site. But once it's realised and appreciated that this building has a long history as a building from at least the 17th century but certainly right up into modern times as a public house and a brewery um, latterly also with um, a glove factory incorporated into it so there's it does have a long it must have some sort of resonance with older Westbury people with the, knowing about the building and they've got some link I would imagine with it some affection for it some some um, connection with it um, whereas what, what's proposed to be happening is a supermarket coming in, building um, a, a, a steel-framed warehouse that may be here for 20, 30, 20 years at the utmost, whereas this building has been here for possibly 300 years or more. I must say, since we launched the petition, we've had lots of local people who have said, oh, I drank in that pub. Um, that's a that was a great pub. All did I've actually had a chat from Australia who's emailed us saying that he's now emigrated to Australia. He was a Westbury boy, grew up in Westbury, and he remembers the owner of the pub, uh, publican, and uh, it's all on the on the petition, and it's really interesting. Yes, yeah. Well, this sort of thing, it, I, often it's often the case that people. Um, only really appreciate something where it's about to be taken away from them and of course you know this really has concentrated people's minds and I think um, if nothing was if we were unsuccessful the building was scat down and nothing was preserved in terms of the memories of people about the building or an architectural survey of the site that would be a tragedy um, we must preserve something preferably the building if not the building a record of its site and the history of it and the reminiscences and re re recollections of Westbury people who were associated with it. Yeah, when we, um, in 2000, a group of us wrote and um, produced a, a millennium history of Westbury and I was responsible for the streetscapes, the sort of the brief thumbnail notes about the various interesting buildings within Westbury. And I wrote in that that the Oak Inn had 17th century origins I found it in some printed source, but couldn't um, remember or was able to find it again. But I mean, that was actually written down and published in, two, in the year 2000, and that didn't seem to have been taken notice of in the, the run-up to the planning application. 
So what was the name of the book, Steve? Um, the story, I've forgotten, it's called the, the Westbury Millennium book, it, the, the Westbury 2000. It was a book produced for the millennium. Do you still have copies of that? Oh yes, it's, it's available, yes. Okay, and yeah. do you sell those or where um, is it available well, from? Well, it was available through the uh, Wessex Books shop, but I, I think, and it went to a reprint, but I'm not sure where it's available now. But it's in Westbury Library, it's copies of available in the library. Oh, excellent.